thanks a lot, Mark, for making visions reality. So you asked, how do we consume in the future we want? And the reason I work with food is because it's the single most important decision we as consumers make every day for our own health and for the planet. But most importantly, I work with food because I strongly believe it's our greatest opportunity to come together as a global community to create that world we want. Today, almost all our greatest global challenges merge literally on our plate. Food is not only driving our climate crisis, it's driving a biodiversity crisis and it's driving a global health crisis. And although food is our biggest economy, the hidden costs of the current food system are immense. And that system reinforces inequalities. Yet, despite all the interlinkages and synergies, we have historically addressed these food-related challenges in silos. But this year, scientists launched the first assessment to connect the dots for food. The Eat Lancet report, which Mark mentioned, provides a global framework and scientific targets for how to feed our growing population enough healthy food within planetary boundaries. The report concludes that unless we fix the food system, we stand no chance, no chance to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals nor the Paris Agreement. On the other hand, on a more positive note, by getting it right on food, we can not only help getting climate change under control, protect nature, improve food security, and strengthen both rural and urban economies, but we can prevent 11 million deaths every year and improve the health and well-being of hundreds of millions more. To get there, we need, obviously, to do certain things. We need radical transformation across the value chain and action in three areas. We need more sustainable production. We need massive waste reduction. And third, we need to switch to healthier diets with much more fruits and veg, whole grain, legumes, nuts, more plant-based proteins in general. The good news is that scientists say it is possible. And, as you know, 80% of food in the future will be consumed in urban areas. So guess what? Cities, guys, are key to making this shift happen. So as a very proud partner and co-founder of the C40 Food System Network, we at EAT are thrilled to see how that network is growing and the impressive progress you're making. And now, even firm commitments. I was so happy to see yesterday when 14 bold mayors, hungry for change, signed up to the Good Food, uh, food, <laughs> the Good food Cities Declaration. And by 2030, they pledge to align their public procurements with the planetary health diet from the Eat Lancet, cutting food waste by half, and engage the whole city in working together for local and tasty solutions. So together, they have now committed to make it easier for in total 65 million people to eat better. And by doing so, empowering all of these people to take part in creating a positive change for themselves, for their families, for their communities, and ultimately the planet. And that's what I love about food. It brings people together like nothing else. 
Food connects agendas and it helps us collaborate towards common goals. Even though millions obviously still don't have enough food and no choice, billions of us do. And the number of people that are now craving healthier and more sustainable food and literally demanding better solutions, that number is growing rapidly. So by working together across sectors, across disciplines, across borders, not only city borders, but country borders, to, if we work together to make better food not only available and affordable, but also attractive. We eat and it needs to be attractive. But if so, we can enable people everywhere to make a positive difference, literally every time they sit down to eat. In other words, through food, you can get all residents engaged. Engaged and involved, not only to peak emissions, but to peak biodiversity loss, to peak deforestation and land degradation, to peak malnutrition, obesity, cancer, so on, and too many early deaths. And last but not least, to keep boosting better lives in better neighborhoods. Now, I can't see how that's not something all of you here in this room want to commit to. And just saying, the declaration has room for more. Thank you. <laughs>